Hola, hola, buenas tardes, hola, hello there, only one can be here, only one. This is going to be one of those videos where I'm just going to skim through where we're up to. <laughs> what, what, what day is this? This is Thursday, the 23rd of March. I want to show you what this is. This came, oh my God, a couple of days ago. I haven't even got around to opening at least the outside box. And that's something I'm going to review at the weekend, as is the Tron light cycle. I can't wait to open that. And then what else am I going to do at the weekends? I'm just going to get myself busy on Saturday and do some footage of stuff and and uh, maybe get a few videos out early next week. But still, for now, I want to talk to you about Mando episode... Bloody hell, what is it now? It's episode three, is it? Or is it four? No, episode one was the first one, and then episode two was the one with the Mythosaur, which had me hooked. Number three, that's right, with the... The weird business with the doctor and then number four was last night and you know i enjoyed it and i'm invested in it you know i'm happy i'm trickling along but there's a couple of things that annoyed me about the last episode uh number one was the business of this child that got taken by that huge beast a flying raptor creature whatever you want to call it and you know bo-katan obviously all their jetpacks run out and bo-katan goes after this Foundling, and that's another issue that, well, I didn't really have an issue with it, but Mr. H, if you watch Mr. H reviews, he had a problem with the writing of this episode, and he wanted to know why it was a foundling, given that it was actually, it turned out to be his son, I thought, and he thought that a foundling was somebody that was found, literally like, you know, Grogu was found, as was Din Djarin himself. I do like that X-Wing there, by the way. So anyway, I didn't have a problem with that. What I had a problem was problem with was the raptor. And bo followed the, you know, the foundling to the nest and then comes back. Was there no urgency? Was this creature, was no one worried that this creature would have maybe eaten this child? You know, and then they all find, they go towards the nest and they have a, they even have a little camp, campfire. And what? I just didn't get it. I thought, what are you doing? Did somebody say, I mean, I'll have to watch it again, but had somebody said about the cycle, the eating cycle of this creature, maybe it keeps it for a couple of days before it feeds. I mean, I thought to myself, they were bloody lucky that this creature wasn't hungry. Is that all I can say? It's a good job it wasn't hungry, because otherwise, um, and I do apologise at the state of these uh, shelves. Maybe you can't even tell, but look, I've got things in random places. Look at that. I'm in the middle of sorting the room out, guys, and uh, ah! Check this out here. This has got something to do with this box here. So anyway, apart from that, you know, I enjoyed it. It was only a short episode, half an hour or whatever it was. And yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's just th things like that irk me a little bit. So it just kind of irked me a bit. But apart from that, you know, I, I'm quite happy to tick along and I'm enjoying it. Um, I've seen worse things in Star Wars, like the sequel trilogy, that really <laughs> irked me. But um, yeah, no, it was all right. It was all right. So anyway, that's that. So I'm going to just shut up and calm down a bit now. And what else happened in it? Um, so Bo-Katan seems to be invested. Oh, at the end, that's right. She was saying, what What would you make of somebody who's seen a mythosaur? And that was the way it sort of ended there. And Grogu had a little bit of a sparring session with another foundling, the same one we saw in the first episode, who, as I say, transpires to be Paz Vizsla's son. So that's that. Let me know what you think about that. Am I overreacting about that raptor? You know, they should have made efforts to go and get that kid there and then. Because surely that thing caught it for a reason. That's to eat him. I don't know. It's only make-believe, but things like that just don't make any sense, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I must do at the weekend. That thing there, the Skyhopper. I'd love to review that. But now, anyway, it's time to... I've just mounted the camera on a stand, and I'm going to open this i know exactly what it is i've just shown you what it is as well bear with me it's quite a big box this this was left with my neighbor because the guy from it was from pulse didn't want to leave it with anywhere else usually they'll put it in a safe place but no maybe that's either a new rule from pulse or yodel the deliverers or it's um because this is a little bit more expensive yes ladies and gentlemen there were certain things I was buying and not buying, and this was something I wasn't gonna buy, but I actually uh, decided I'd do it. Why not? I don't wanna army build the individual packs of um, Max Rebo. Not Max Rebo, what am I thinking of? Figuring Dan, but I thought, hell, get this, do it, you've got to. 
I mean, currently on my shelf, I have Figurin Dan loose because I opened him for the Quick Shot series, but I'm about to get another one loose. But hell, now at least I have each individual band member and I've got their instruments. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to open and review this for you. It's Figurin Dan and the modal nodes, not just five of them, seven, all seven. What was the thing? Five and two on a night off or something like that. I did get the commemorative tin. I think it was back in 2000 and see they're right there. 2021, I think I got that commemorative tin and they're great figures they look good the head sculpts are spot on but if you're going to do it right you're going to do it right aren't you and these are super articulated figures they're brilliant and they're in that lovely box set there this was i can't remember how much it cost it was shy of 100 how many figures are there well that's about if there were 10 or each it'd be 70 wouldn't it so i think there were more than that i don't know i can't remember how much i paid but it was with hasbro pulse and it's an exclusive i think with them isn't it but still it's a lovely box that i like the white boxes no frills, can't wait to open it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I'm gonna leave it there because um, I've got to press on and I will edit that and get it out tonight. Thank you for watching and do stay tuned. I'm gonna be filming all this stuff at the weekend and there'll be some nice videos to be coming up soon. And as you can see, we've got some nice natural light now. The hours are getting longer in the day, which means I'm gonna be able to have more time to film. Last few months I've been filming on a weekend, bang, 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 and putting those videos out later. Now I can film at the end of the day when I get in from work. You know what I mean? So it's just good. It's a good time of year now. Good time of year. What do you reckon of that X-Wing coming off the wall there? I love it. Nice one. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.